defense. Well, let's now speak to Isam Ikrimawi from BBC Arabic, who is at The Hague for this case. Isam, thanks uh, for following this closely. Tell us a little bit more about what happened today. Uh, the, the, it was the opening day of the trial, which uh, is uh, going to be over two days. Uh, as you said in the intro, uh, Israel will have the chance to uh, counter what South Africa uh, has presented today. There was a very robust and strong uh, case by South Africa, which was read out today to the, uh, to the world that the session was... was The is of uh, evidence, as they called it, to illustrate that there was intent on the part of Israel to uh, carry out genocide in the Gaza Strip. They pointed out to the fact that the infrastructure in the Gaza Strip had been completely destroyed, that the people have been starved of food, water, medicine, access to all services, and also the number of casualties, over 23,000 people have been killed over the last three months by Israel in the Gaza Strip. Uh, so the South African team uh, illustrated that uh, what is needed here is to look at the definition of genocide uh, from a legal point of view not from a political point mm -hmm. of view. And therefore, they, they said that they had enough evidence to show that Israel has actually committed genocide, genocide in the Gaza Strip. Well, Israel will have its day tomorrow. What can we expect? Well, the Israelis uh, dismissed the, the South African presentation, and they said they've got evidence of their own that uh, genocide was not committed by the Israelis and accused Hamas instead of co committing, uh, committing genocide. So the Israeli team, legal team, and there's a, a large team coming from Israel which will uh, have its day in court tomorrow. They will present their evidence. Uh, they'll have the same amount of time as the South Africans today. So it will be their chance to counter what South Africa had put forward. Uh, if you're able to tell us briefly, Isam, what impact will the, either the interim orders or the eventual ruling actually have? Well, the interim uh, uh, objective now is to stop the fighting, stop the, the, the ceasefire, to have a ceasefire in the Gaza Strip, to stop the killing of uh, mainly innocent civilians, the destruction, the complete destruction of the infrastructure. So if the uh, court issue a, a, a ruling demanding uh, an instant ceasefire, then it would be very difficult for the Israelis who have been able to avoid, uh, uh, you know, uh, a ceasefire so far, uh, following, you know, failed attempts at the Security Council to uh, enforce a ceasefire. So it would be very difficult for the Israelis okay. to ignore the court since Israel is one of the signat signatories of, of this court. Uh, well, we'll have to wait and hear what the courts will uh, have to say. But, of course, thank you for uh, keeping us updated on that. Isam Ikrimawi from BBC Arabic uh, joining us from The Hague with uh, that 